Hello and welcome to our today's lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to work on question one and two of the last part of unit seven, which is about fraction of shapes. And this part is aimed to check the students' understanding of the lesson that the students have learned through the unit. So now question one of this part says, what fraction of the whole strip is shaded? Draw a ring around your answer. So we see that the shape has 10 equal parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 equal parts, and out of 10, 3 of them are shaded. So the fraction that can be made from this shape is 3 tenth. 3 tenth. You know that fraction is showing part of the whole. So we have to count the number of the whole shape or the number equal parts of the whole shape. Then we have to write those equal parts under the fraction bar. Suppose if we have a shape like this. This is a circular shape, and this shape, for example, is cut into eight equal parts. Out of eight equal parts, we shed, let's say, three of them. Or maybe we shed five of them. Out of eight, we shed five of them. Now, how many equal parts do we have here? We have eight equal parts. So the denominator here is eight, and the number of parts that are shaded is the numerator of this fraction. The numerator of this fraction. So the fraction that is made is 5, 8. The same thing over here, we counted the number of equal parts, which is 10, and counted the number of parts which are shaded. So the fraction which is made from this shape is 3 tenth. Well, in part B of this question, it says, if I shade two more boxes, how much is shaded now? Draw a ring around your answer. If I shed two more boxes, let me shed one box here and one box here. How much is shaded now? So five out of 10 are shaded. It is one half, or we can say half of the shape is shaded. Actually, the fraction made from that is five tenths. It is five tenths, but we can simplify this. We can divide it by 5, and this one also by 5. We know that 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. So the fraction that we have is 1 half. Well, we are done with question 1. Let me scroll down to move to question 2. In question 2, it says, count the number of sides in each shape. We have two shapes over here. For each shape, divide it into the number of equal parts as the number of sides. Color two parts of each shape. What fraction is colored? Or what fractions are colored? So for the triangle, we have three parts. So we divide it into three equal parts. So let me divide. Now it is asking us to color two of the equal parts. Let me color this one, this one, and this one. How many parts, how many sides do we have here? We have three sides. We have three sides. What fraction is made now? The fraction which is made is two thirds. Means out of three equal parts, two of them are shaded. Well, now we count the number of sides in the second shape. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 sides are there in this shape, so we cut this shape into 10 equal parts, into 10 equal parts. Let's do so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and this one, 10. Now it is asking us to shed only 2 out of the whole equal parts. Let me shed this one, this one, and this one. What are the number of sides? The number of sides are 10. What fraction is colored? The fraction which is colored is 2 tenth. It is 2 tenth. So this is all about the last part of unit 7, which is about fractions of shapes of Cambridge Primary Mathematics. Cambridge Primary Mathematics Learners Book 3. I hope it helps you learn how to form or how to write the fractions of a shape. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, like the video, 
and share the video with your friends, your classmates, and your students if you're a teacher. Have a nice time and thank you so much.